Who is going to benefit the most from the Sparklet token, and how are you going to play an integral part in making this happen? Upland has just presented a proposal that will introduce a brand new crypto token on the Ethereum blockchain called Sparklet. 1,000 Sparklet tokens will be equal to one Spark token. These Sparklet tokens will be able to be imported into Upland, converted to Spark, and utilized within the Upland metaverse. I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide. On this channel, you can learn everything you need to know about the Upland metaverse, Spark, Sparklet, tutorials, strategy, tips, tricks, and a lot more. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. The Spark token was introduced into Upland in 2021, and that enabled people to begin construction of buildings on their properties. Spark is also required for manufacturing, as well as in the future powering your vehicle within the metaverse. With the introduction of Sparklet, this is the first opportunity where players see that they will be able to actually sell their Spark, and this will be done on the Ethereum blockchain. You will not be able to directly sell your Spark, but you will be able to download your Spark onto the Ethereum blockchain, and in turn it will be converted to Sparklet. This is a very big deal, and not just for the players who are eager to start selling their Spark. I think the biggest winner of this proposal are small businesses and different game developers who are looking to create a presence in the Upland metaverse. And I'm going to explain how you as a regular player can play a big part in this. I think that you can agree with me in saying that one of the most exciting parts of Upland is the ability to own properties that are mapped to the real world. You can own your favorite restaurant, museum, or maybe even your own home. The opportunities that lie ahead in being able to create a Layer 2 game or application and integrating virtual reality into your property can be a great value proposition for a real-world business. Creating zero-code NFTs in Upland is an excellent and easy way to start engaging with your community. As a real-world brand, this might mean onboarding your community into the metaverse or trying to engage with people that are already in Upland and let them know about your real-world business. I own several properties in Upland that would be considered points of interest, some of them being museums and restaurants. If I was a restaurant owner, the only time that people would actually interact with my business is when they come to eat at my restaurant. Nowadays, just about every business and every restaurant has some sort of presence on social media, and in the future, we can expect similarly that every business will have some sort of presence in the metaverse. There is the concept of the open metaverse where all of these different metaverses like Upland or Sandbox or Decentraland will all be interconnected and interoperable. I'm very bullish on Upland because of this specific reason that it's mapped to the real world and you can actually see and understand exactly where this real world business would operate within the metaverse. There's nothing stopping me today from looking up the address of one of these properties that I own, reaching out to the real world business and trying to onboard them into the metaverse where they will be able to create value for their customers. Maybe they might be interested in purchasing the property directly from me, or maybe there might be a way for both of us to work together if I want to retain ownership of their property. For example, here in Nashville, I own two different bars that are here on Broadway, one of them being in the ultra rare live music venue collection. A business like this could create different map assets that they could sell or give out to customers. They could then use this to token gate experiences or events within the metaverse or in the real world. A place like this ultra rare collection of live music venues might be a great place to build a cafe where players can do karaoke or showcase their own music. These businesses could also manufacture and sell legits, which can be potentially used as coupons for real world products like maybe food or drinks. And these possibilities are really endless, but the one constant here that you're going to need is Spark. Now, up until now, it's been quite difficult to get your hands on a lot of Spark if you're not really engaged in the metaverse. The only way to really do that if you're not treasure hunting and regularly logging into Upland is by purchasing it on the Upland store approximately once a month when Upland does have this Spark sale going on during Spark Week. So onboarding a real-world business into Upland and explaining to them that there's only a short, limited period of time when you are able to purchase the super important resource that will help them to expand their business and their presence within the metaverse is a really hard sell. The second thing being is that if they just wanted to create one small set of map assets and they would want to build up that factory, they would still need to have all that spark. But at the end of the day, once they're done with creating that set of map assets, they might want to sell that factory and they may have no other need for that spark. 
up until now, you have no way of selling that Spark to somebody else once you're done using it. With the introduction of Sparklet, this is all possible. There is no restriction on when you will be able to purchase these Sparklets and import them into Upland in order to utilize them for your small map asset collection that you're looking to create. Once you've manufactured that, you can then take all that Spark that you no longer need back onto the Ethereum blockchain and sell them on the open market. In my opinion, this relieves a lot of headache around the concept of Spark. If you're like me and you own a lot of these cool properties and you want to reach out to some of these businesses, this is a great way to do it. Utilize the information in this video. There's lots of information on the Upland Guide and in this playlist that can help you help other businesses come into Upland and grow this platform.